In most cases, when a breakup occur, some people will give it their all to try to keep the relationship or marriage intact. When in reality, the relationship or marriage has unfortunately run its course already. While you go through the motions of scratching and clawing, begging and pleading for this now cold-hearted individual to remain in your life, which reminds you nothing of the loving, caring individual who you initially fell in love with, the Most High has heard conversations that you didn't hear. He's seen this person do things that you are unaware of. And because you didn't take heed to the red flag warning signs that were sent to you time and time again, the Most High himself has a decided to intervene because he loves you so much that he hates to see you continue to subject yourself to the punishment and the pain that this person is constantly putting you through. And while it's true that your heart was still filled up pain and the devastation of the relationship or marriage coming to an end, think about it for yourself. Would you prefer to continue to remain in a toxic relationship where this person is mentally, physically, or even psychologically abusing you day in and day out? Even if throughout your relationship or marriage, you didn't experience any type of abuse in any form or fashion. If you've been following my episodes for a while now, you can recall that I mentioned in a previous episode to give the person exactly what they're asking for when they're asking for the breakup. Even though both your heart and your mind will simultaneously be flooded with all types of emotions when the breakup occur. You have to set the tone and let your ex see and know that if they ask to be removed from your life or they no longer want the relationship or marriage, that you are mature enough to give them exactly what they're asking for. You're not going to bicker and beef. You're not going to sit around and plot and scheme ways to get or seek revenge on them. You're going to give them exactly what they ask for. You're going to move on with your life and allow them to do the same. You can best believe that somewhere down the line, your ex will reflect back on this and they will remember how you handled the breakup amongst how you were within the relationship. As time continues to progress, especially if you have been following my advice by not reaching out to your ex, you've been in no contact, you haven't been responding to any of their initiatives if they try to text you or email you or reach out to you in any form or fashion, you've just been simply ignoring it. A time will come when nostalgia will kick in and it will kick in big time for your ex. Right at this very moment, your ex could be out somewhere enjoying dinner or having a few laughs and sharing jokes with family members and friends, or maybe they could even be out with the new person that they're involved with. But despite all of that, once nostalgia kicked in, is nothing that your ex can do to avoid it or get away from it. If you are extremely good to your ex in a relationship or marriage, something will trigger those emotions and those thoughts and those memories about you. It could be a song that might come on or it could be a particular place where your ex may be or have visited that you two used to visit in the past that reminds them strongly of you. Something will occur that will make nostalgia kick in and overdrive where your ex will get to the point where they find ways and mentally start to contemplate how is it that they can reach out to you to get a hold of you. One thing you'll never hear me do is put a time frame on when any of these things will occur. And if you have listened to anyone that have told you 30, 60, or 90 days, do this and do that and your ex will come back, don't believe the bullshit. Don't be bullshitted by these people. I promise to keep it real with you and let you know that nostalgia has to kick in when it's time for it to kick in. There's no precise time frame that anyone can put on it because everybody has different situations. If you have a social media account, whether it be Instagram or Facebook, don't be surprised if your ex hasn't created a fake profile themselves to keep tabs on you if they're not watching you from their regular profile. It's important to know that even though your ex may have said some horrible heart wrenching things to you towards the end of the relationship, it doesn't mean that how they felt at that particular time is how they are always going to feel throughout life. But none of that even really matters. They said it to you, you respected what they had to say, and you've moved on. But it can come a time where your ex can regret every single thing that they said, and they want to try to find ways to take it back or make amends for what they said to you. The godly thing to do, of course, would be to forgive this person if they sincerely apologize to you. But at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get back into the relationship with this person. And I know some would argue the fact that, well, over time people can change. And that's true. I actually agree with that. But at the same time, you're taking a huge risk by getting back into the relationship, especially if the relationship initially that you two were in were, was a toxic relationship. You're taking that risk all over again because you don't know if that person still has those toxic ways or not. And I'm quite sure most of you are already fully aware that regardless as if it's a man or a woman, some people will promise you all types of shit to get whatever it is that they're trying to get from you. And then later on down the line, their true colors will come out. That person's representative that we 
come head to head with in the beginning of relationships is who presents that fantasy that most of us long for. They are providing and presenting everything that we look for or most things that we seek in a relationship. The conflicts occur when that person's representative is not in alignment with their true character. And then that's when we get to realize that the fantasy is actually an illusion. But besides creating a fake profile to keep tabs on you online, which is basically stalking you in so many words, I'm going to give you the three top behavior traits and patterns to look for that will determine and will let you know without a shadow of a doubt that your ex truly misses you. If you and your ex share a mutual friend or friends, or your ex was close to someone in your family, your ex will use this person or these people as an avenue of discovery to try to gain as much information about you pertaining to how you've been and what you've been up to. By doing so, constantly bombarding your family members and or friends with questions about how you've been and what you've been up to, your ex would actually be putting them in a tough situation. Reason being is because if you follow my advice in the previous episodes when I suggested that you let your family members and friends know not to keep mentioning anything to you about your ex during your breakup recovery because you're trying to move on. If your family members and friends love you and respect you enough, they have been sticking to the protocol. They haven't been mentioning anything to you about your ex because they know that you've tried to move on or have been in the process of moving on but there may come a time where your family member or friend may flat out come out and tell you hey i know you don't want to hear about such and such but he or she has been asking about you like crazy the second behavior pattern to look out for and this is a huge one but it's a random one the second behavior pattern to look out for is when you get that random text of hey stranger or maybe your ex is bold enough to even pick up the phone to call you to say hey i know it's been a while i was just calling to see how you've been or something along those lines for me personally this is the reason why i stopped answering calls from unfamiliar numbers or especially when a person is blocking their number out i stopped answering or responding to these type of calls years ago and don't be surprised if the same happens to you pertaining to your ex if you receive an unfamiliar calls that's not spam calls but just unfamiliar calls or receiving random texts from unfamiliar numbers don't be surprised if your ex is the one who's behind it all before i get to the third behavior pattern to look for or behavior trait to look for when it comes to your ex missing you and as a matter of fact i'll give you a two for one bonus if you're enjoying this content so far and you're relating to this episode be sure to hit that like button and subscribe it's important that you subscribe and like or share these videos and these episodes to help me reach other people so i can help them as well if not these videos are just sit in limbo and youtube won't push it throughout the algorithm so please if you enjoy this content be sure to like share and subscribe the third behavior pattern or trait to look for that'll let you know without a doubt that your ex misses you and nine times out of ten they want you back is within that random phone call that you receive from your ex they might mention something about a shirt or a book or something that belonged to them as if you've been thinking about that shirt or book all of this long time that shirt and that book is out of sight out of mind it's been so long that you haven't even thought about it but your ex will use things like this as an excuse to try to get closer to you to be in your presence once again now for the bonus as promised the bonus behavior pattern to look for that'll let you know that your ex misses you is if you happen to be at a restaurant or a venue any place that you and your ex used to go to on a regular basis but you're with your new partner now and your ex happens to show up there now this can be a tricky or tough situation but then again not so much because let's remember that your ex is the one that wanted the relationship to end so if you're there with the new partner and you happen to run into your ex just know that this isn't a coincidence your ex is showing up at this place because they were hoping and praying that they will bump into you so they can get to see you again in person in their mind they just didn't know or have had any idea that you would show up with someone else the new person that you're with so this is the bonus way to the let you know without a doubt that your ex misses you they'll randomly come to a place or a venue that the two of you used to go to in the past on a regular basis so if you happen to be going through a tough time right now your heart is broken you are depressed and you're feeling down and out about the relationship or marriage coming to an end and maybe you were left with a whole bunch of unanswered questions one question that i can answer for you right now and i will say that i'm possibly 98 99 point five six percent sure about what i'm about to tell you as much as you miss your ex trust and believe that your ex 
message you as well. Even if they don't show it initially, somewhere down the line, your ex will get to that point when nostalgia will kick in and it will cause them to miss you like crazy. But again, depending on how the relationship ended, I don't suggest that you get back with this person unless it ended on a cordial mutual type of term or an agreement then that's a different story but if you were in an abusive or a toxic type of relationship just continue to move on with your life don't put yourself through that drama and turmoil any longer thanks for listening to this episode be sure again to give it a thumbs up subscribe and share and i'll see you all on the next episode